Hey guys, in this episode, we're going to swap out the AP100 air pump with the Gemco 100 air pump, and we're also going to install the bleeder silencer. So stay tuned. Swapping out this AP100 air pump is I had a manifold fail. I did replace the manifold, as you hear, it's been all changed out. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to go with a piston um, air pump, so I decided to go ahead and purchase the new Gemco 100. So we're going to swap it out, guys. I'm swapping out this AP100 air pump because I had a manifold fail. I did replace the manifold. As you hear, it's been all changed out. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to go with a piston um, air pump. So I decided to go ahead and purchase the new Gemco 100. So we're going to swap it out, guys. Okay, so this is the AP100 right here. I got it kind of plumbed in to my line. Goes to a T right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this out with the Gemco 100 on here. Alright guys, what I had to do is the uh, original plumbing was up here. Um, but what happened was, is the air pump didn't fit up there. So what I did is, to kind of show you, I uh, cut the whole entire line, I spliced it right here. As you see, um, instead of having the piping on there, so I didn't have to cap it, put it back on my angle. Um, and then what I did is I took the T and I put it up here and I piped it to my uh, my Gemco. So now I'm going to add the silencer. All right, guys, now we're going to put in the uh, the bleeder and the silencer. Sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm kind of like stuck in the back corner here. Um, so I already have the AP100 already plugged in. So what I'm going to end up doing is cutting the line, putting this on here, and adjusting it. So once again, it's on the opposite side of where my um, my um, pump is. So I'm just going to cut this line. Perfect, lost all the power to it, which is completely fine. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see it. So I want to kind of fix it a little bit. So I have everything pressure fitted. I don't have anything um, um, glued. So that's kind of how I wanted to have it. So I'm just gonna get this other piece cut for you guys. There we go. So what we do is we've got it, now we have it plugged back in. And from what I heard, you open it all the way up until it's, it stops on there, which is right about there. It's just all kind of like pressure fitted in there, perfect. And you can so I can adjust it right here. So the more and more I, I crank it down, the more pressure that's in the line. So that's full blast, so I don't want that. So I don't want backflow. So what I want to do is I want to slowly adjust this. I'm kind of looking at all my tanks as I'm going to make sure all the air pumps are, or all the sponge filters are going. So I don't want no back pressure. This is perfect right about there. This looks good, guys. So I'm going to kind of piece this video together and hopefully you guys can see exactly what I'm doing but if I ever need to make adjustments I can just make adjustments on here if I want more pressure in the line I can just crank it this way and adds more air pressure here if I want less I just put it like this so I don't have back pressure so so I'm like watching this one right by me so as you see I'll show you on the camera here this one right there has no air pressure coming out so I'm going to crank my valve so it came on. So you see, as the bleeder releases a lot of pressure on my line, so there's none in there, but I want pressure to all my air pumps. So I'm going to turn it just enough so I get it. So I'm going to go through all my tanks and randomly adjust all my stuff so I get enough pressure. You guys might go over and say that when I had the camera next to uh, the bleeder, it was loud. But it's as you can see, it's not loud at all. I have all my sponges 
at full bore. That's what was supposed to happen. Everything's running. Um, and that's the biggest thing. I can check out everything and make sure everything's going good. Um, and then in theory, what's going to happen is this is slowly releasing air. And if the silencer part makes it nice and quiet so you can't hear it go out, and it's not going to cause any back pressure to go back to the pump. So thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, you guys have a good day.